Welcome to the live cast. I'm making a chicken pie. No response? Ooh. <laughs> you don't care? No, I actually love chicken pies. I'm making a chicken pie. I'm not cooking a chicken pie. Okay. I'll explain. Uh, so, and this is why. You know, I'm all about using the leftovers. So I did a, I had a, an event last night, chicken enchiladas. And so I have a bunch of deli roasted chicken left over. So here's what I've got going. I love it. Come. That is uh, one cup of sliced mushrooms. I use shiitakes because I'm a huge shiitake fan. A half a cup of red onion diced up. A little bit of olive oil in there now. We'll throw a little butter in just to give it a little flavor and to help soften it. Okay? It's really easy. Okay? Don't really have to warm the chicken up, but we're going to incorporate the chicken into this right now so everything starts to just take on the same level of flavor. So we're going to give this about one cup of shredded chicken. There's about a half. Easy. It's very easy. I can't tell you how many times uh, a month or whatever, every couple of weeks I do this. Whenever I have leftover chicken, I end up making chicken pies. Or leftover steak. I make steak pies or, or whatever. Right? So you've got the you've got your shredded chicken in there. Wipe your hands. Haven't really seasoned anything yet. We are gonna get there. Because clearly there's no seasoning on the chicken or, or anything. Um, look, you want to add carrots, you could add carrots. Like if you had leftover carrots that were already softened, or you could throw a handful of peas. Like, like I keep peas back up. Do you want to add peas to this? Let's add peas to this. Look, I keep frozen peas. Like this. Let's watch. Just do this. Get a little strainer. This is how I want you to think. I want you to think that you can pull off shit really fast at the last minute. Keeping frozen peas is a great thing. So now, here. Just run some water over the peas. You're just trying to soften them up a bit. You could sit them in water, but we're trying to rush this whole process. So there you go, done. They're softening up. And now, peas go in. There you go, we've added peas. Carrots, same, whatever you've got. Whatever you've got, just do that with it, okay? So now here's all this part. And now it's chicken, so I want some gravy to go into this, and here's how I'm making it. I can turn that off. Chicken stock. Chicken broth from a box, right? There's about uh, three quarters of a cup in there. But you can't just put it in like that. You need to thicken it. So I'm going to use some cornstarch. Cornstarch looks like this. You take some. You put some in a bowl. Like about that. What is that? Like two tablespoons? Mm -hmm. And give it just enough water to make like a thick paste out of it. Uh, and don't look at this and go, I could use flour because flour will not go smooth like this right away. Flour is kind of a hassle. It will thicken, but not nearly as good as cornstarch. So now look, that was, that was powdery, right? Just a second ago. And now it's perfect. So now to this, bubbling away, let's see, maybe I'll add a tablespoon. All right, and see how that does. And look at, you can see, look how fast. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. A piece of onion got in there. Okay, look at that right away. So this should be, this might be enough. Wow. Look, you, you don't want your, you don't want your chicken pie to be like a big, a big wet sloppy mess. This is nice. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit more. Okay. Now we can season. So now we're going to give just a couple things. A little salt. Some pepper. 
If you wanted to put some seasonings in, this would be the time to do it. I mean, seasonings. I mean, like herbs, like uh, rosemary or sage or something. You could totally do that. Fine, we'll give it a little sage if you want sage in such a big way. The hell is my sage? Sage. Sage is nice. Sage is very like Thanksgiving to me. It's turkey, it's chicken, it's, it's all that. These are life lessons. Here's what I'm doing. I'm giving you the, the keys to survive. Like a half a, half a teaspoon or so of Worcestershire sauce. Look, there's way fancier ways to do this, but you don't need to. Okay, we're there. Okay, now, now comes the really fun part. And this is what I use. I use these little uh, throwaway guys. Because they're easy, they stay around. Oh, almost the perfect amount. Oh, like I've done this before. Nice. Wait. Mmm. Wow, oh, is that good? Okay. Chicken pie. Almost. One thing out of the fridge. Pie crust. Like this. Oh, I could have done this. this. Warmed it up a bit. Oh, come on, come on. Don't piss me off. Uh oh. Here we go. Uh oh. From driveways, walkways, and lawn areas, to outdoor kitchens, fire pits, landscape lighting, and more, no other company can enhance the beauty and value of your home with the same commitment to quality as System Pavers. Outdoor living, designed around you. I should have let this thing warm up a bit. Now I'm rushing it, but I'm gonna be okay. Oh my gosh. Just a, just a pie crust. can deal with this. Here's the uh, here's the approximate lid. And then you always take a piece and eat it. Because there's nothing in raw pie dough. And then this goes on top. I just crimp around here. Nothing fancy. Go in. Such a perfect little dinner. It is, and then you do this. Okay? Here's what I do. I will take this guy just like this, let it cool a little bit, and put it in the freezer. Put the lid on, put it in the freezer, let it freeze solid. Then, when it's frozen solid, I vacuum seal it. Look, there's the little cuts I made in it. This I made a couple days ago. This I will take out of the uh, vacuum seal bag. I'll put it in a 350 degree oven for about 35, 40 minutes. When this is, uh, everything's cooked. You're really just cooking the, the crust. When this is a nice brown, if it's only been 20 minutes and this is getting really brown, I put a piece of foil over it. Aside from that, probably 35, 40 minutes. This thing is golden brown. It's perfect. I take it out, I serve it. A glass of white wine with that, or beer, whatever you want. It's fantastic. I don't have to cook it. I'm not here to cook it for you. I'm here to show you how to go from the chicken in that container 
to this. Here you go. Just like that. That's the goal. That's it for today. Could you do this, Max? Yes. Would you? Yes. No, you wouldn't. Do this. <laughs> he says he would. He says he would. He's not going to do this. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.